Hey guys, what's up? Tomorrow here and today we are starting a new save on Euro Truck Simulator 2. Um, I have posted previous videos of Euro Truck Simulator 2 on my channel, but I thought I'd start the game again and go from scratch. So this, uh, 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 I just realised I've made a huge spelling mistake and I'm probably retarded. So we're going to drive. We're going to take the first drop. I think we're in a Scania. Uh, Scania, Scania, which one? Scania S730 is the truck. Just going to get the brief wrap for the ground truck. And we've got the trailer, standard cargo container. Um, I think it's taken my control on that. I'm not sure it has. So we can start the engine. Yes, it has. I was taking my route this safe. All right, so let's get rid of the map. And I think we can drive. First drive. We get rid of these. I just realised I've gone the wrong way, and I've gone the wrong way out of the um, depot. Right, we're in London. We started this game save in London, um, because I don't know, because I, I was born near London, it's just London really, not sure why, one of the main cities in the UK, look left, go right, and I think it's only like a hundred me uh, 200 meter job. No, I've gone in the wrong lane. Okay. Why does it keep puttering out in a row? Is this something, is it twinge or something else? When I, um... It must just be me. No, it's not. Oh. Oh, change up and change down for the sequential gearbox. Ah. I just realised. Those two keys, the two paddles which I'm using as indicators at the moment, are, um, change up. So it's gone to 12, change down, so it's gone to 10. So you also get what's just on that. I need to de demap that. Just gonna go like a bit of a racing line around the roundabout. Woo! <laughs> Not before I flip it. Yeah, I've hit someone. I've hit someone. I've hit someone. Don't know who. Losing 80 euros already. Seriously? Go the other way. Um, look at that life. And if you take a wrong turn in life, you gotta pay the consequences. I'm going 56 in a. Oh. I'm afraid you're driving. Well, I've got. To I was gonna say I'm doing 56, and there's a van approaching. Oh god, I'm gonna crash. And I was right. Well. I've never had damage from that, like, even though I've played this game for a while. But, um, we could have better damage physics. Right, how am I going to do this? I'm just going to take the harder, slightly harder one. I move in, head on to the wall, then curl it around. Wing your clip in the wall, basically. Not actually. And lodge it forwards until you see green in the ring mirror. Press T to undo the cables and the lowering, lowering of legs and things. So I get 300 bucks from my mission. Uh, the euros from my mission. Right. <clears throat> we haven't actually made that much money. I think we may have like a 100 euro profit. Oh, here you guys can give me a lecture. This is your headquarters. It's pretty basic. It's a pretty basic garage, but it may not be much, but it's a start. Unfortunately, you haven't got anything to park with yet, so there are no trucks inside. Once you 
clever enough that you need to park uh, on board the truck to be able to move in more freely and run your own business. Good luck. At least this is good luck. Sorry, we did make it do on the pocket. Um, I think we're going to take the biggest quick job we can. Or maybe not the biggest one. Because we do 123 miles. It's freezing on me. Cargo weight R. I'm not sure they want the low car. Cargo weight. I'm just playing this like an inexperienced truck game player. So I'm just going to go price up. Price down. That's going to be like a. I might take a Mercedes Actros. I might do the Volvo. Actros Volvo, Actros Volvo. I'll play the Volvo. The lower Volvo. Get a chance to show you the newest truck on the channel. I'm not even sure how decent the audio is yet. How it's kind of bright, how it is. I hope it's good. Right, this is the interior of the new oldish, old style World well, Earth H. So we've got the bed at the back, the two seats, you've got the taco up there, and additional lighting. You have the steering wheel, obviously, mirrors. You've got the uh, stereos and the controls down there, you've got the parking brake. Up and down, up and down, um, speedo, dashboard, things like that. I'm not sure that we actually. No, I don't think we have a. No, we don't have a sat nav. So we're gonna have a have to have the basic one up. I'll take a parking brake and let's get moving. So I'm not quite sure what specification of the truck this is. It's an F at each. Um, but what kind can be a slightest bit more helpful? So you've got the screens that you can change on the dashboard. You can see how fast you're going. That's cruise, cruise control. You've got the temperature of the engine. How many miles remaining on the range? How many litres it's got? Miles to the gallon. Te oil temperatures and water temperature, I think. Usually I'll just leave it on the um, <coughs> temperatures is quite fun to watch. Got right, let's get moving. God, I need to change that uh, sequential thing. Keys and buttons. Um, shift up, shift down, shift up. I'm just going to randomly map that to. Is it frozen? No, no, um, I thought it broke on me. Uh, seven. Can I map that to seven? Yeah. No, not left button. Numpad one, numpad two. So that won't be bothering me anymore. Just gonna change some gameplay things. Uh, preferred job length. Just keep that in the middle, maybe a bit higher. Speed limit, truck, speed about the morning. Four thousand nice parking brake. Heavy cargo warning screen, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Random road events, so that's quite cool. Rain probability, up to it. Time zones, full info, actually, uh, time only, convert now to no. Uh, transmission type. Right, with transmission type, I want to try H shifter, because I have a. I have a shifter. Trade cables. I don't know what all this stuff is, but I'm just going to say all the air traffic. If, I just want to make this as realistic as possible, so automatic retarder I get, no. Air brake simulation, realistic fuel consumption. Right, we want the steering camera rotation there. Blinker camera rotation a bit. Actually, no, it's not. Language, English, currency. Right, we want to have GBP. So I'm in English. And uh, I think that's all mapped to my ideal specifications. And it's all, yes, that's perfect. Wait, it's 
auto stop, we turn. Wait, can this still work? Yes, yeah, it does work. Oh! Wait, hang on, first, second, first, third, fifth, seventh, ninth, eleventh. Then if you do that, it's twelve. Right, so we got second. Right, it's a bit of a different setup, it's not a split setup, it's just a six speed one. So, let's get moving. Yeah, it's manual. Alright, second. I really dislike this. It's a weird camera thing that I'm not too sure about. I keep forgetting to shift. I keep thinking I'm in automatic mode still. I've actually had a decent splitter set up. Um, things like that. Popping in 12s, a bit unnecessary. Okay, we're going to be taking a racing line if this car's wrong. Okay, damaging the truck, not the best idea. Change back into. I'm just going to say the gear that um, it's in. So back into 10th, but um, I do not want to. Do you know what? I'm turning off the camera rotation thing. It is just you. I'm trying to go back to automatic until I get a better gearbox. Actually, simple automatic. Real automatic. I don't know what advanced trailer coupling is, but I'll take it. Steering camera rotation. Alright, well, um. So I'm just gonna be getting in. Automatic 10, it puts, put it in 10. Oh, that's just where I left it. Um, yeah. Did my dad lose money? Oh, maybe it's because I converted from euros to pounds. Actually, no, the euros are higher than the pounds. Bad or not. Wait, does it let me see cruise control? Yeah. If I smash my truck up beforehand... I just want to see where my cruise control sits. I can just say 56. Oh, there you go, that's where my cruise control stands. I think I can get away with 50-ish. I've got 150 miles left, it should take two hours and two and a half hours roughly. Um, just to say this game can get a bit boring sometimes. Um, not gonna lie at all. Sometimes it is a bit tedious. Um, but yeah, it does get fun at points, especially when you spend money buying trucks. You know, I don't want to say too bad it's like a grind save game, but it's like a grind sort of ish. Actually, yeah, it is. It's like just to have a campaign until we have like 10 garages and 100 trucks. I don't know, that's very unrealistic. 100 trucks, but yeah. Got to indicate, do not pull in. I've seen people in this game do that before. I'm in his lane at the moment. I think my truck is gonna go a bit lopsided. I know I've got a very tame trailer because usually, if you have like a top heavy trailer, it will properly flip over. Just because I had 16. Uh, yeah, it will tip over, which is really not good because they make you pay for the cargo as well as the truck damage because it isn't your truck obviously when you go up in the game level up things like that you earn money obviously you earn xp and you will get to buy your own trucks with the money right different types of trucks you can buy mercedes volvo renault 
I have a co daff an M A N. It's not man. That's a big surprise thing that I learned now. It's not man, it's M A N. Just gonna do actually I've got ten to speed limit stuff. But um I'll do a quick top speed test. Where is it? Truck speed limit is off. I'm gonna put my foot down and it should go to 57. If it hasn't, I haven't turned it off. 57 is turned it off. Just on the remaining, what, 50 miles of my line. Yeah, I'm going to be getting speeding offences, that's the only problem. Just going to pull into this lane. And when I see a speed camera, or a police car, slow my ass down. Because, seriously, I don't want you to pay like 200 quid for a speeding offence. It's always good to return a truck on a full tank of fuel, even though I'm not paying for the petrol, or diesel, sorry. I'm not paying for the diesel. Still going to um, fill it up so it's nice and full. Just to see if I can get it on two wheels. No, to be camera. Didn't slow down in time. Yep, yep, that's a biggie. I didn't touch him. I thought, pushed him out of the way. But now. I know it's a bit of time off my journey, but yeah. Get some fuel. Oh, I'm still going 45. Wow. Um, get some fuel. And. No time for sleep. It's a bit annoying if you. Yeah, but. <clears throat> Yeah, you'll suddenly realise how much fuel they actually do hold. Found a good old petrol. A uh, diesel, sorry. Um, 383 litres. It's a lot of money. So your fuel expenses are covered by your employer. In other words, I'm not paying for it. Uh, whoever my trader is with is. There's a truck coming, but I think it's going reasonably slow. So I can pull it out. Um, shout out to Rocco who's recently got quite unwell and uh, basically had a seizure. Um, in the comments please type get well soon Rocco. Um, he's on his recovery at the moment, he's doing fantastically. And one of the reasons why I'm making one of uh, these videos is because I have the simulator and he likes trucks and cars things like that. So I thought I'd make some videos for him. Which gave me the idea to start this kind of series and then get going. I looks like we're pulling off the motorway at the next um, service, not service, slip road, or from wherever you're from, whatever you call it. We're approaching at 60 miles an hour, which we should slow down to about 50. Um, yeah, we're coming onto a bit of a smaller road, similar kind of. Uh, no, nah, actually, it's not a small road, it's still a motorway. Highway. 
yeah, 50 is the speed limit. It's definitely slower. So it is a smaller road. Speed camera, but I'm not need to worry about. I don't need to worry about that. So I'm going to speed limit. Not the services right there. Not putting into it. But you know what? Speed services. I'm not going to slow. I'm going to try not to slow down one bit. I go through the services. Oh, you know what? Going through fuel. Nah, actually, it's too, too, too tight. Um, don't know why I did that, but. Why you don't do and cutting across the grass if there's no cars, just use another single. But there was a coach, there was no car, but there was a coach. Quick, do it here and run to be speed from the scene. Alright, this little arrow is pointing to the right, it's going to be put into this lane if you're wondering what those funny arrows are on the map, they're usually pointing the way of the route, but they're telling me to get over into the middle lane because there's going to be a pull off or an off ramp. Then there's one telling me to go inwards because if you're in England, you're a lorry, you should always stay in the right lane or left lane because it's a slow lane usually and it's like the lorry lane, but you, you are allowed to like, overtake other trucks. See, so he's trying to go in the fast lane, slow lane. He was just in the slow lane, but he's going over. Um, so um, there's a lorry on the off ramp. Oh god, that was a bit of a drastic move. Around the lorry, around the Renault. I think it's a Renault Michael. Is it? Yeah, it is. Uh, still going 56. It's a bit too too fast. Too fast. Should be going 30 past the sign. Yeah, we're definitely speeding. Definitely, definitely speeding. 36 because get the retarder to slow me down using cruise control. I'm not calling anyone a retard, it's just what it's called, it retards the speed or engine or whatever it is. Don't know, <coughs> don't know in detail what it does. But it's something like that. Alright. Demonstrating on this mirror up here. See so I'm approaching the truck at 30, slowing down. You'd probably think by oh, look, I'm close to the truck, right? But if I go close, right, right, I'm still, like, I'm not, I haven't touched it. My real clock I have. But I'm probably a metre away from it. One and a half metres away from the truck. It's a big, 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 big difference in height. Height, flat front, can't see much that's behind you. Not behind you, um, in front of you. That's what blind spots are. Why did I stop the engine? Keep the engine running. Let's go. Right, just to see how much turning rate. Right, pulling right, over. No one coming. Good, oh, good, oh, good, oh. Follow the skid marks. They usually hit. God, you hit. If I'm really that bad at driving, then. No, back up. Back. 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 Up. Back. Up. Wait. A3. I don't really care. I've got it in realistic automatic mode, haven't I? So I can't actually. I'm going to have to make this tight turnaround. And that was tight. Uh, enter. 
There's no way I can just play it safe on the normal way. So I'm just gonna have to press zero XP. Two grand, one nearly three. Pretty good. I'm level one. I'm gonna invest in the long distance because you can take bigger journeys, take bigger jobs. The bank now offered me a loan of £87,000. That's usually to buy trucks and things like that. I'm not personally I'm not going to try to get into any debt. So I've got Volvo and I've got Cheapest Volvo truck. Well, we can see what, how much that is. But I guarantee it's not going to be cheap. Probably going to be about 100 down. Maybe 110. 89. That's actually pretty good. But Scania is a good company that you might want to get into. So I might, I'm going to take the loan. It may seem like a very, very, very unwise decision. I'm just going to take the loan. And buy a Volvo. FH. No confirmation. I just get to buy a truck. Right. We're going to take it to our uh, garage and then that will be the end of the video. This is a little cutscene for the truck. And we've got right, so I think I'm going to be able to put it. Hang on, let's just give it a couple of revs to start with. Maybe it's just the fact that I can't put it in any kind of gear. Oh, yeah, forward is that back is out. Oh, my god, never realized that. But yeah, we're just going to give it a quick spin around the block. Then we're gonna end the video. Wait, can we sleep? Yeah, we can sleep. Oh no, that's access garage. Let's just go back. Can we sleep? I don't really care. Sleeping is not really a priority at the moment. We're not tired. It's not, the game's not prompting me to sleep at all. Oh my god, I didn't realise we were on grass. Yeah, great, we're gonna damage the suspension on the first time. Oh, the first day having the glory. Where's my traffic? Let's get going. Take for a spin around the block. Take right to avoid traffic, uh, left to avoid traffic. And do a quick speed test, as long as there's no cameras. 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, and so on and so forth. Just gonna pull into the recruitment centre. We don't have two trucks, so we can't actually got damaging it already. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna give you a quick look around. Got the bunk, got the hatch, got the taco, steering wheel dashboard, uh, radio, and so on and so forth. Give you another quick look around. If I haven't smashed it already. See with the bank telling you you're in debt, or I'm right, gonna give it a couple of revs. Okay, I think we've had enough for this video. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Good night.